Anyways, on to the next track slash performance in Sonia's anthems. I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. The last track we reacted to was Joe Blankenberg. Uh, it was a June track, tribute track. Man, that track was fucking crazy. Crazy, that composition was mad. You guys, just go back one. I promise you, you'll absolutely love that. For all you mothers out there, I'm going to say it again. I hope you're enjoying this Sunday. I hope you're enjoying Mother's Day. We are now on to Echo and Low Spirit, man. The last track we listened to from Echo and Low Spirit was insanely good. Insanely good. So I've got... Uh, 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 high expectations for this one. Uh, this is called Hello Loneliness. Let's rock and roll, man. Let's see what we got over here. Let's go. Bye, happiness. Yeah. Hello, loneliness. I feel you coming back to take hold again. My oldest friend. I wish you didn't come around so often. Steal my happiness. Hey. Somebody told me life was unkind Before my worst moments opened my eyes I try to hold on, hold my head high I was gonna tell you that shit, bro That shit's just, it's, it's a surprise It's a beautiful surprise that you gotta unwrap yourself <laughs> you know, Life's unkind? Yeah, bro, that shit's gonna hit you like a frozen trot Right across the face when you least expect it It's like, yeah, take this, fucker And then you're like, holy shit Shit, what the fuck? I'm tired of adulting, bro. Let's just go back to being a child. I wish somebody told me life was unkind Before my worst moments opened my eyes I try to hold on, hold my head high But every day cuts me like a no knife I can't be happy living life on my knees Paying every doctor not to fix my disease I hate to So goodbye To a certain degree, it's like uh, uh, I had to talk about what's uh, what's bothering me. I, to, I do the same thing. I had to talk about what's bothering me. I literally just I, I get up and I get going and keep doing it. Essentially, I mean that essentially does build up to a certain degree, right? But sometimes, sometimes there is a um, there is great. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say value there, there might be great value but there's also a great appreciation for silence right not every single thing needs to be said because then that just plays into like a victim type thing it's like you also at certain times have to deal we're living in a day and age where everybody just has to tell everybody about every fucking intricate thing of their life and because every single they can't deal with the most with the smallest little fucking uh, um fractures in their existence that it, they, they have to tell everybody to sort of get attention like i can't stand that right i literally can't stand that there is great uh, uh, um, um, value and appreciation in actually just keeping quiet and get shit done and get on with it essentially not everything that happens in your life needs to be fucking uh, um, um, what you call it bullhorned out to everybody to get fucking attention do you know what I mean There's, there, there really is something to you being People actually being able to see your strength through your resilience and not hearing you whine every fucking time. Do you know what I mean? Not to say that that's what he's doing. I'm just trying to say that I think we need less whining and people doing more shit for themselves and stopping to try and get more attention. I don't think it actually helps them in any way, right? Because they just get stuck in this loop of like everyone just being like sympathetic towards them. And that sympathy can keep you fucking down, Right, always or oh, looking and looking for that validation, looking for that sympathy. Sometimes, back back in the old day, right? I'm conservative in that matter. Back in the old day, shut up, right? And no one wants to hear your excuses. Just get it done. Just do what you need to do to get yourself out of the shit. Not everybody. Everybody's got. People have got shit to deal with in their own fucking lives. A lot of people, everyone's got their own fucking baggage, right? They don't need you to pile on your shit because you uh, um, are looking for validation and uh, sympathy the entire time. That's 
that's gonna sound like I'm trying to like sort of bash in this on this particular song. I'm not. I'm just saying that that's just my particular uh, thought. They're artists. They literally bring that out because over here it's kind of like it's kind of they're just doing something that's relatable to to, to people, right? You feel that way. People do feel it that way, sure. Um, and that's just what artists do. So no, I'm not knocking them. <laughs> I'm not knocking them. I'm just saying. In this room, I can feel that it. it's getting hard just to be breathing again. Loneliness showing up here to remind me of all of the things I know we could have been. Taking a hold of wish I wasn't broken with all this abandonment weighing me down. Ooh. When things are going good, that is way for you. Yo, I like this fucking, I like this fucking cadence that he's got over here. It's flowing nicely on us. Abandonment weighing me down. When things are going good, that is way for you to room and the dollar and come around. So the darkness hold me tight. Won't she let me go? I'm sick of always feeling broken hearted and alone. I said I'd be okay, just wait to fall in love You'll see that everything you're thinking will be different But the first girl I ever loved in my life I never told and then she overdosed and she died Jeez, said that's... Talking... Wow, that is heavy The first girl uh, that I loved, I never told And then she overdosed and she died Wow, okay That can make you feel fucking heavy and feel lonely and all sorts of other sort of emotions, guilt, whatever. You said that talking about it helps to comfort the mind, but nothing ever comforts mine. So goodbye, happiness! fire good track i like it i like it that actually that track over there could actually be uh very much like a commercial type track uh, i mean the, the chorus over there is quite catchy and uh yeah i'm pretty sure that on the radio would do fucking numbers um, I'm not sure if it ever did hit the radio, but uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you think down below and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.